Good morning. Welcome to my channel. My name is Bobby. And this is the universe, all right? We're in it. I just want to talk about something real quick. I know it's raining and I was going to take some days off and I still am. But this is important. I just want to talk about grace and changing hearts. When I first came here, Last summer, I, was, I met Sonny, who was homeless. He was a homeless veteran that the town of Newport took in. And he said the, the owner, the guy that ran the art um, studio, the little store at the bottom of the hill at Nye Beach, when he was laying there, when he first found him there, when he first showed up at Nye Beach, that's where he slept right next to that building. And the old owner, or the guy running it, just basically was mean to him and told him to just fuck off, right? And so he did. He went over on the other side of the, the beach and then he saw the guy was loading some stuff. So he went back over to help him. And they had a conversation. And just that conversation changed that guy's mind about Sonny and being there and who he was in his situation to the point where the guy let him sleep there for seven months right next to the building, let him build a little house. That's it, I just wanna talk about changing hearts. Cause there's people out, people out there running around with dark hearts. I don't know if that's a possibility to change it to light, I don't. I understand, what I, from what I'm gathering and from what I'm learning, we have it within us. So they talk about the dark and light, you know, the demons within, whatever, but it's, it's a balance. And you can't ignore the dark like it doesn't exist. You can't exist entirely in the light. It doesn't, it's impossible. You have to have the balance. But there's people running without the balance either way. If you're running too much in the light, you're probably just too giddy and people are just like, don't want to be around you because you don't, you're just not a bad girl or bad boy enough just to where they can even, to, you know, even relate to your happiness because you're just, some people just are blessed to the point where they got so much money and they're beautiful and they're hot and they just got everything in the freaking world. And people are just like, I can't relate to that, dude. And you can. So it's important to be able to relate to that. And I don't know how to change hearts. Oh, maybe I do. I don't know. Maybe I'm doing it now. But people need to know that they're beautiful. That they're awesome. That's why you start with kids. When, you, when you're a kid, they're all innocent and they're all awesome. And there's no, they're, there's no, they, they don't, they're, you're not born hating people. You're not born pissed off. You know what I mean? You're not. And if you are, you're probably, you know, a demon anyway. So God bless you. You know what I mean? Kids are just not born hating or being pissed off. Or It's conditioned. It's the environment that they live in. And that's why I hate these fuckers when they talk about the environment. Oh, we gotta work on the environment, dude. Those motherfuckers you gotta watch out for because they're talking about controlling your environment, not healing the world. They're talking about making sure you're controlled, your mind's controlled. That's the environment they're talking about. Your emo emotional state, your environment of emotional state, your fear, environment of fear. Okay, I'm not going to get into it. You know me, but I love you, and I want you to be happy, and I want you to heal your heart, and yeah, it took a long time, 10 years, man, for me. I tell people, you didn't see me run, you know, you didn't see me fetal position, yeah, in my apartment, just miserable as hell. You didn't see that, and it took a lot. I'm, I'm Andy Dufresne, baby, mile of shit to get out into this, see what I'm saying? But you see what I got? You see this? Yeah, it's a blessing. And I, and I earn it the hard way. And I'm hoping that this helps you earn it the, the quick way so you don't have to suffer like I did at all. You can just go straight to I love myself. Fuck it. Yeah. Go in the mirror and just say, fuck this shit. Um, like I said, if I can get people tapped into me for five seconds, they'd be, they'd be ripping that plug out hard. Sorry. They'd be like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? And then I'm like, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. But I had to go through it so I could teach and learn and and understand and makes it easy on you so just get in the mirror tell yourself you love yourself until you actually fucking believe it and then you rocked it then the rest is gold baby that's all I gotta say about that I rambled didn't I okay I'm gonna take some time off I love you God loves you and the universe is crazy about you have a wonderful day okay bye